Hi Sam's Fitness, big fan. Oh. Question to you Lee, obviously you have a lot of tattoos. I hadn't noticed. I'm 17, 5'8", 167 pounds. Started lifting two years ago and before that I wanted to get all covered up. And now I'm not quite sure because I have a decent physique and I don't want to ruin it. I don't have an interest in, in competing pretty sure I never will but other than that what are the pros and cons of getting inked and what has changed for you since you got inked big fan all the way from Macedonia uh, nothing really nothing's really changed people think that I've changed or you become an idiot if you get tattoos or psychopathic people get tattoos on their face and blah 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 but nothing changes and you know it doesn't destroy your physique you know you can still have a good physique and have tattoos if you just want to get a single sleeve or a tattoo on your shoulder or you don't have to go crazy and get tatted up all over but you can get you know nice subtle tattoos here and there so if you want a neck piece or just a shoulder or just half an arm or a chest piece or something so yeah but no there's no difference really it's just just a personal preference so it doesn't tattoos don't change a person so just if you want to do it do it if you don't don't but if you're going to do it make sure it's what you want to do because they are pretty permanent yeah unless you want to get had a removal but yeah so it just comes down to your person and you've got to remember it's going to be there for a long time so you know then if you get a tattoo if you don't like it after a while you can get it changed into something else like I've done a couple of times going from tribal to battle armor and stuff like that so if you get one get in a good spot where it can be changed up a bit and let's be honest like it it hasn't stopped you getting a job you got a job here at the warehouse exactly I don't even know like when people come in I have to go hide behind the boxes. <laughs> I'm not allowed to come out, but yeah. So I'm like that red-headed stepchild that has to go to the room when the friends come over and visit, so yeah. But in all seriousness, that your um, I was being serious. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, your your look was one of the your look and your um, obviously physique and your um, your standing was one of the reasons why you 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 um, teamed up with Black Skull. Exactly. So they liked the look, you know. Marcelo liked the tattoo on the face and my look, so he thought Black Skull would be a good thing for me. He come and sought me out and asked me. He wanted me to be Black Skull due to that look and that sort of thing and who I am and the fan following I have. So, yeah, so I can work with for you or against you. Not if it works against you, that's from shallow people who aren't worth knowing anyway. So if you get judged on your tattoos, well, they aren't worth knowing. Yeah, and I think one of the reasons why you've got such a big fan base from all around the world, which we've demonstrated today, is because you've kept it real. You haven't um, you haven't sold out. Exactly. Um, I've always just been who I am, and you know when you are who you are and you do speak your mind, like I said, people are going to hate you or love you, and but I can never understand why people hate you just because I have an opinion. You don't have to agree with my opinion. My opinion is not always right, but you know if it's not, that just means you're wrong. So yeah. Like I said, I just, I am who I am, so, like I said, I'm not, I've never kissed ass with the IFBB, I've never gone along with anything or anyone, if someone tells me something, I'll always question it or go look into it, I just don't go, oh, okay, that's true, you know, so, I've not that, never been that type of person ever since I was young, so, you can ask my mum that, I was always argumentative, I had to have the last say, I <laughs> always wanted to know why, so. Well, there you go, all the, all the dribblers out there who wrote oh you've got a face tattoo what an idiot you ruin your life you've <laughs> oh, got yeah. your, you got it's yourself like who it ain't where it ain't again you got yourself a solid job in an, in a warehouse with oh, with free accommodation you. here and benefits a gym downstairs what more do you want a and and a sponsorship with black skull exactly and i'm still on the internet everywhere and the, and they've um you know they're, they're making their own merchandise have you, have you realized though, how many people out there who actually made a name off my name <laughs> I have a bad mouth for me or bagging me or talking shit about me they actually became somewhat little celebrities themselves have you noticed that so they should actually thank me and pay me for without my life they wouldn't have one so thank you for you yeah yeah <laughs> and just turn around show like not many people get uh t-shirts there you go he said well, just in case i forget who i am or if i'm laying face down people know who i am <laughs> if i've collapsed on the floor Someone goes, that's Lee Priest on the ground now. <laughs> when I'm drunk. There you go. Not not too many people out there get t-shirts made for them regularly. Exactly.